Atiempa 11-year-old is attempting a two-mile open water swim next month to benefit a national organization committed to funding pediatric cancer research, all in honor of his mother. Wyatt Deaton will be attempting the swim to benefit Swim Across America on May 7th at North Shore Park in St. Petersburg. He's one of the youngest swimmers in the nation to participate in the event. It's for a cause close to his heart. Well, when my mom was diagnosed with cancer, I wanted to help. And my mom told me that there was a swimming event for people that were diagnosed with cancer and to help raise money for pediatric cancer. And I was all over it. His mother, Michelle, was diagnosed with a rare form of breast cancer, previously called juvenile carcinoma because the average age of patients was so young. Wyatt was only in first grade at the time. Michelle said telling her son she had cancer was scary, but swimming has become an escape for him. And I think this has been a great outlet for him because when it was presented, well, when he joined the team and they talked about Swim Across America, um, I spoke with Wyatt about it and I said, told him a little bit about it with pediatric cancer and he was all over it. I mean, he wanted to do it because it was a swimming event and he, that was a way for him as a child to be able to give back. This year, Wyatt will be swimming for two full miles with the company of his swim coach. He's already preparing, even when it comes to the smallest things at swim practice. Coach Brian, yesterday, he was teaching me how to, like, if water starts seeping into my goggles, just to turn over, open them, get the water out, close them, and then continue. That coach is proud of him for wanting to give back. We're very proud of him. Swimming by nature is a very individual sport. Your successes are really based on how much work and effort that you put in on a daily basis and to see him at such a young age care so much about other people is quite a, quite a great thing to see, especially coming out of our own team. His mother, who is now in remission, is proud of him too. Wyatt has already raised over $3,000 for Swim Across America and donations are still being accepted. You can find the link to his page to donate on WFLA.com. All the proceeds of the event stay here in the Tampa Bay area, benefiting cancer research at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital in St. Petersburg. In Tampa, Daisy Ruth, 8 on your side.